Morning world and welcome to Saturday, October the 12th. And we're starting today with bag of logs. <laughs> The customer I'm going to has been waiting for a week for his logs. But the reason he's been waiting for a week for his logs is because he's been piddling with down with rain for last week. So I've not been able to drop them off because the last thing I want to do is get them all nice and dry and then take them to my customer, tip them on his drive and let them get all wet. Yeah. Also, I learned some bad news today. My mate, Mr. Cornock, just uh, seen his video this morning and he didn't go clear on his TB test. He had one animal, one reactor. I don't know exactly how that feels. It's gutting and especially for him because all his animals are coming in now. It's winter. He's gonna run out of space really fast. It's also gonna cost him a load of money to look after animals he's not really equipped or set up to look after. Yeah. I'm going to take him a packet of chocolate biscuits over tomorrow. Not going to have time today, although I'm going to go past him today. Probably. Yeah, tomorrow I'll take him in some chocky biscuits. Yeah, no, I'm not going very far to start with. I've got to adjust the forks. They're a bit... Um, they're a bit far apart. That should, that should be okay. I've already had three bags go out this morning. This would be bag number four. Um, and that was my job for this morning. This afternoon I give myself another job. You've already guessed we're going to the farm. But not on what? We're gonna go and bring some more bales back. So a bit of 695 action this afternoon. I'm going to blame the little faux pas on having to load uphill. If I was loading downhill, and it is true, it's not just an excuse, probably wouldn't have happened. But never mind, it's not raining. They're not going to get wet. They'll still burn. Oh, 
We are a bit one sided though, aren't we? Really. Customer's only a mile away. We'll be all right. That's a stupid place to park, isn't it? Why are you parked there? Ah, the reason he was parked there was because he was taking a piss in my edge. That's why he was parked there. always one stuck on there so we'll get that off and then we'll go right that's that done what I should have done was put the tractor keys in my pocket and bring them with me that's all right Walk won't kill me. Uh, I think, yeah, I've got tractor keys. I think before we do that, we're just gonna get rid of those pallets, take that off, put the spike back on so we're ready to go. So um, I'm definitely bringing back one load. I've got room over there and mm, maybe a bit in here. I might have to. <sighs> Actually, before I take the pallet forks off, I might just move that over there and put room for two, to put a room for some in here. Um, or even maybe put those bags in front of the mower. I'd like to get both loads done today if I can, because that's ticked off, done. And this afternoon is better than tomorrow, weather-wise, apparently. So, that's what we're going to do. We'll put you there for a minute. And then, like being organized nearly so no news on the concrete panels yet I mean they said three weeks we can't be far away I might give Tim a ring later on and just see if he's heard I don't want to bother him because I would assume that if he has heard he would let me know but um, yeah, I really, really want to get this concrete in done before it gets really, really wet. Right, you temporarily can go on there. Like that. Done. Right, the guys have been using this for doing a bit of logging, so I don't actually know how much fuel there is in there. So we'll check that first while the gates are open.
There is enough in there to do a trip there and back, but I think we'll top him up anyway. Just be on the safe side. Right. While I'm here, I've dropped the front weight down flat on the floor and I think I've just taken a little bit of weight off the front wheels with it. I could drop it a bit more if I put a block underneath it, but I think that's enough. I'm going to put a bit more grease around on the axles, on the axle pivot. With that on the front, there's the potential for a lot more wear on there. So I need to grease the front more regularly. I ain't got my overalls on. do a losing a couple of pounds. The thing is, I rather enjoy putting them on. If you want a lot in the front, no, that's enough. Right, that's that done then. And while we're at it and the link arms are down, In there. Go on, get, get on there. Get on there. There you go. Oh, my nipples are a bit dry. <laughs> got this wrong, really. I've got a new toy up in the house for this job. and I forgot to bring it down. I was contacted by a company in North America, I think it was, and he said, oh, would you like to try out one of our new thingies? And I said, what's that then? He goes, well, it's a plastic thingy for cleaning out all the gunge and crap around your uh, grease nipples. And I said, well, you can send me one if you want. And he said, right, I'll do that. And he did, and it has arrived, and that is here comes complete with a little magnetic mount. So I'm going to put it up on there. It's only a little, little thing. So I'm going to put it up here. I said I'm going to because I haven't done it yet. But I will do it and you will see it and I will try it and then I'll tell you what I think of it. So, because you can buy them online, but until I've tried it and told you what I think, I'm not going to tell you what it is. So you'll have to wait. Right, so that point's done. I haven't done that one. Oh, I forgot that one. Don't forget that one. Which means I also forgot that one there. Go on, get on there. There he is. And yeah, before you shout at me, I didn't forget. E's done as well. And so I didn't just wipe a bit of grease on. I mean, that's where it's being come out. Look, see? I did do it, not cheating. Right, fuel, grease. Uh, we'll just check our other levels while we're in here and then put the trail on. I don't know why it makes that clicking noise. It never used to make that clicking noise. So that's okay. Can't actually see the level in there, but I think it's okay. I think it's actually right on the line. No lights coming up, so we're okay. What are you clicking on then? Nothing that I can see. Strange. 
and then down a bit. There you go. Perfect. I'll shut the barn door first. Oh, I've got to get those bloody roofing sheets back off there, haven't I? So yeah, we're going to have to take those roofing sheets off now, because of course I, I took the pallet forks off, didn't I, and put the spike on. So now I'm going to have to take the spike off, put the pallet forks back on, so I can take that off there. Worst things happen at sea, apparently. Other than that, we're pretty much ready to go. end up moving it from here again but you know well, I'll probably end up bringing over a load of silage as well and it's quite likely that's gonna go against that wall there I'm not taking the pallet forks off again because I know if I do that, if I take the pallet forks off and put the spike on, someone's going to come in and say, oh, you have a bag of logs, and I'll end up putting it all back again because it's like an hour between now and when we're going to go. A lot can happen in an hour. So pallet forks staying on. I know they're in there. I'm just going to double check anyway. Yeah. Good to go. Okay, you ready? I'm going to stick you on time lapse and give you a tune to listen to on the way over. Hopefully that's okay. Catch me on the run, cause I'm gone, yeah. I blaze trail, set fire to what's behind me. No, I'm never looking back, I'm on the run. I could only ever be what I'm made to be. Feels good when I'm living on the edge. Watch me now. Roll like thunder, gonna shake the ground. Can't stop me now. I don't give up and I won't back down. I'm a force of nature, can't be contained. I got a lot.
I'm in the face of danger. Bring the pressure, but I'm gonna rise above, yeah. Bet the house and I'll take that wager. They say you know a legend when you see one. Watch me now. I like fun, I'm gonna save the ground. Can't stop me now. I don't give up and I won't back down. I'm a force of nature, can't be contained. I got lightning running all through my veins. Watch me now. Watch me has got a queer shaped bottom so I'm going to square him up on his ass rather than his face. That doesn't make any sense to you but it, it does to me. Like that. That'll do. These bells don't like coming off. There he is. There we are. Let's have that one for your side then. There's one small one left. Or should I put it? No. I've changed my mind. I won't do that. You didn't want to come off either. I think actually what I've got to do is go down a bit. Or not. This bell was in the ditch, so he wasn't sitting level, but I thought he was sitting like that. So maybe 
I thought I'd go more up. Come out. That's what it was. That's where I was going wrong. I had ass backwards in my head. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that one little one now and stick him across the back. So slightly heavier load, but the bales out this side were lighter. So um, take 18 or 17 from the other side, it will be a lighter load again. So I know what I'm talking about. to give a couple of them a nudge, I think. Some of them ain't sitting quite how I would like it. One at the front wants a nudge. One at the back wants a nudge. <coughs> so that one there. Just a little nudge. One on the back, a little nudge. One on the other side of the back, a little nudge. Just a little, just a little one for you. That'll probably do. That looks better. Well, I've got my weight up high, so we'll turn this top corner gently. Nothing too fast. So he just wants a nudge on the front edge, doesn't he? Got him. Right, you're all caught up on that bale there. Am I gonna get a get you out of there? this up out the way and we'll go and take this lot home. locked. That's it, we're all strapped on. Time to go home. I think I'll put you back in for a drive. Although we're going downhill, that's quite heavy. So the intention is it's uh, 10, to, 10 to 4. Um, I'm hoping to come back and do the second load tonight. Hence the reason I've left the tractor out. Might get back with a second load when it's getting dark. And I might have to get Mrs. P to do tonight's upload. But I would like to get this knocked in the head and done.
I asked her to come forward with it because there was a fairly big branch sticking out the head. She was going to take my mirror off. So she stopped right next to it, which is about usual. Yeah, stop the tractor right by the bit sticking out the hedge. Fantastic park in here. And of course, because I didn't put the spike on, I left the pallet forks on, um, I didn't need them. Obviously. the fork and come off the fork easy. That could quite often mean damp, although they've been out for quite a while to sweat. Also rained a lot though, wasn't it? So there's an element of risk in this. So we'll bring the moisture meter down later or tomorrow and just double check them. Make sure nothing's hot. Right, that's the first lot off. It is, what's the time? Right, so if any of you wonder why Saturday evening's upload was early, it's because I'm gonna to have to go and do it now. This is members one, uh, because I'm not gonna be back in time for six o'clock. So the public one I can set to schedule, the members one I can't. So that's why, just in case you wondered. Harry. <laughs> <laughs> 